10 Major Divorces That Rocked Wrestling WWE Number 10. Ric Flair and Jacqueline Beam's Divorce in 2013 Yes, the ye jet-flying and limousine-riding ye 16-time world heavyweight champion has faced the end of his marriages thrice before, but it was the 2013 split from Jacqueline Beams that really peeled back the layers of life with a man who famously calls himself E-Space Mountain. In our fast-paced, digital era, this divorce was particularly eye-opening. During their tumultuous marriage, Beams was arrested three times. Twice for assaulting Flair and once for a DUI, where her blood alcohol level was nearly triple the legal limit. One of these assaults saw Flair's freshly cut blade wound reopened, resulting in a bloodbath reminiscent of his dramatic wrestling days. This incident echoed the chaos of his second marriage to Beth Harrell, where Flair allegedly reopened old wrestling scars to appear bloody when calling the police on her. The divorce also spotlighted Flair's financial troubles, as he failed to pay Beams the $32,000 owed in their settlement, leading to a bench warrant for his arrest. Number 9. Randy Orton and Samantha Spenno in 2009. Randy Orton's six-year marriage to Samantha Spenno was deemed irretrievably broken in 2013, and the two divorced. Of course, those aware of Orton's reported history of misdeeds in WWE would likely be aware that Orton being married would seem like the most concerning of ideas, possibly ever. Rumored to be quite the ladies' man prior to being married, is it possible that his salacious ways continued while he and Spiro were together? The split was handled amicably, and many of Orton's WWE co-workers oftentimes mention that the Orton known for his once rambunctious ways is a changed man in the current era. Likely now single, the stress and pressure of maintaining a home life with a daughter, while at the same time leading a life of significant carousing on the road, could be linked to his relaxed behavior. In the settlement, it was learned that Orton earns $300,000 as a base salary per year in WWE, and that Spenna was given a bank account worth $650,000 and $4,500 per month in child support for their daughter Alana. Number 8. The Undertaker and Sarah Calloway in 2007. On June 18, 2001, Diamond Dallas Page appeared on WWE television fresh from WCW as the man revealed as the stalker of Sarah, the then on-camera and real-life wife of The Undertaker. Sarah being an active television character made sense. During The Undertaker's E American Bad Assy Run, he reappeared on television with a Sarah E tattooed G on this throat. Thus, when E Sarah E appeared, and was The Undertaker's wife, it all made sense. Sarah wrestled and defeated DDP, and was also involved in E Diva G photo shoots and generally treated like an active member of the WWE roster for a year. However, by 2007, the pair divorced, and soon thereafter the bold tattoo was gone from Taker's throat. Did this divorce see Rocky wrestling in the same way as learning about the wild life details of Ric Flair or highlight the toll of Randy Orton's extramarital life? No. But, a man who went as far as to get a woman's name tattooed on his throat has to get that tattoo removed. That's a crazy era that can't go without mention here. As well, had Taker and Sarah never been married, who knows what would have possibly become of DDP in WWE. Page's post-WCW career is an intriguing mix of amazing and terrible, the worst being linked to well, that time the woman whose name The Undertaker tattooed on his throat pinned him clean in the middle. Amazing. Number 7. Diamond Dallas Page and Kimberly Page in 2005. Both positively and negatively, much has been said about the career of Diamond Dallas Page. One of the most important parts of Page's career involved being married to his wife Kimberly, whose Playboy photo shoot in 1996 was linked to the NWO assaulting both her and Page and DDP starting a feud with Randy Savage. As well, urban legends on online message boards have run rampant in the internet community that Kimberly was romantically linked to then WCW booker Eric Bischoff, which resulted in Page sustaining a top-tier push. Thus, as much as DDP was a hard-working performer, the marriage between Kimberly and Dallas Page seems to have a number of unusual benefits attached. It's intriguing to note that when DDP jumped to WWE in 2001 the Playboy model Kimberly was not snatched up by the company, in an era where the company's female performers oftentimes appeared in the magazine. As well, Page's first storyline in WWE 
was that he was stalking another man's wife, while in real life many fans knew that he was already married to a very attractive woman. Thus, when it was revealed in 2005 that Paige had divorced his wife, it was an announcement met with more questions than answers. In many ways, Paige without Kimberly firmly entrenched in his career, ends up being attached to far more lowlights than highlights for certain. Number 6. The Rock and Danny Garcia in 2007. Married in May 1997, the most industry-rocking thing about The Rock's divorce from Danny Garcia, after a decade of marriage, is that unlike every other wrestling divorce ever, the duo remain friends and still do business together as Garcia is The Rock's business manager. Thus, unlike other semi-retired slash ex-wrestlers, The Rock has not been befallen by issues surrounding divorce settlements and child support payments so onerous that they drive ex-wrestlers into debt. The separation between the man born Dwayne Johnson and Ms. Garcia has actually led to The Rock's wealth increasing exponentially since leaving a full-time WWE schedule, which is impressive. In proving that pro wrestling divorces need not be scandalous situations, The Rock again proves to be a once-in-a-lifetime sports entertainment performer. Number 5. Dustin Runnels and Terry Runnels in 1999. Here's where the list turns from merely intriguing to completely salacious. Drugs, check. Sex, check. Money, check. Family intrigue, double check. Married from 1993 to 1999, Dustin Rhodes and Terry Runnels' relationship and deterioration has been a source of incredible intrigue and drama for the wrestling industry itself and fans alike. Dustin's father Dusty alleges that Runnels was a cheater and gold digger, ensnaring his son in a doomed marriage. Both Dustin and Terry have a history of substance abuse issues, issues that were certainly prevalent during the time they spent together and had a daughter, Dakota. Now 21, Dakota's been raised between two parents who have, since their divorce had periods in which they've been more and less than civil with each other, involving addiction relapses by both Dustin and Terry, plus Dustin's very public recovery and tag team title run. On sheer weight of scandal alone, the Runnels split is the stuff of legend. Number 4. John Cena and Elizabeth Huberto in 2012. Have you ever gotten divorced and had it directly linked to your inability to win one of the most important pro wrestling matches of your career? Well, when John Cena and Elizabeth Huberto split in 2012 went public, World Wrestling Entertainment of course linked the divorce to the ye worst year average that Cena had after losing to The Rock at WrestleMania 28. Separating in May 2012, the divorce was linked to a house remodeling project gone awry, as a lien for $110,000 was placed against the home, as a contractor claimed the Cenas didn't pay him for his work. Obviously, given Cena's road schedule, the idea of returning home to massive debt isn't exactly comforting. Huberto filed documents in Florida, blocking Cena's divorce petition because he refers to her by her maiden name, Huberto, instead of her legal name, Cena, as well as failing to attach the prenuptial agreement signed by both parties, and also refuted the claim that they shared no marital property, and that she was entitled to her share. Within two months, the divorce was finalized and insofar as John Cena's wrestling career? Well, he defeated The Rock at WrestleMania 29, and now has conversations on the globally televised E. Network program Total Divas with current girlfriend Nikki Bella, alluding to lurid details of their apparently hypersexual relationship. Let's just believe that the chain gang general's doing quite all right for himself post divorce. Number 3. Kurt Angle and Karen Angle in 2008. Okay, this one is crazy. Kurt Angle and Karen Angle are married for a decade and have two children. In September 2007, Karen debuts in TNA on screen as a babyface siding with Samoa Joe and threatening to divorce Angle because he was emotionally abusive toward both her and their children. Of course, by September 2008, the Angles are divorced as a shoot, with emotional abuse by Kurt to Karen as one of the rumored causes. Karen's involvement in TNA in 2008 is intriguing if only because by July 2009, she was rumored to be romantically linked with TNA founder Jeff Jarrett, a fact that when released led to Jarrett being suspended from TNA and Kurt Angle threatening to quit the company. By August 2010 Karen Angle had married Jeff Jarrett, with Karen returning to TNA alongside Jeff, who was feuding with yes, Kurt Angle. 
Not strange enough, yet? Well, it gets wilder. By the March 3, 2011 edition of TNA Impact, Kurt Angle was walking Karen Jarrett down the aisle as Jeff and Karen renewed their vows on the program. Thankfully, after Angle defeated Jarrett at Slamiversary 9, the bizarre feud was ended. Number 2. Hulk Hogan and Linda Hogan in 2009. After 25 years of marriage, Hulk Hogan's divorce from his wife Linda left the wrestling legend in, given his wealth-driven lifestyle, severe financial duress. The results of the Hogan split were revealed in 2011, after their 2009 divorce, and were frankly incredible. Hogan owed no alimony, but in receiving 70% of Hogan's physical wealth, walked away with $7.44 million. As well, she received 40% ownership in all of Hogan's companies and a $3 million e-property settlement. Furthermore, she earned from the sale of their $9 million mansion, and the ownership of a Mercedes-Benz, a Cadillac Escalade, a Corvette, a Rolls-Royce and various off-road vehicles. The split has led Hogan back into the ring for TNA Wrestling, against Doctor's Orders, as well as signing a deal to be a spokesman for World Wrestling Entertainment. While yes, Hogan has not had a physical altercation while in WWE, the idea that Hogan cannot go peacefully into a non-wrestling retirement is unfortunate and directly linked to his divorce. Number 1. Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth divorce in 1992. Married in real life on December 30, 1984, Randy Poffo and Elizabeth Hewlett were divorced by September 18, 1992. Of course, given that Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth were married for the purposes of WWE storylines at SummerSlam 1991, after Elizabeth returned to the WWF after a hiatus when Savage turned heel in 1989 and became the Macho King, and was managed by Sherry Martel, this basically means that they may have been at, near or past the point of marital strife at the point that their marriage became booking fodder. The fact that the pair were married during periods when fans didn't know that they were married and were likely in the throes of separation, when they actually were betrothed on television, is what makes the divorce of Savage and Elizabeth so shocking to pro wrestling fans. Learning this fact is one of the moments that feels so profound for wrestling fanatics, because the connection between Savage and Elizabeth was so strong in the mid-1980s that it almost seemed like there was more happening than actually was occurring. Of course, when one considers that Elizabeth followed Randy Savage to WCW in 1996, where the duo linked back up before Elizabeth turned heel to manage Ric Flair and then flip-flopped back and forth between NWO stables, things begin to get a bit bizarre, then macabre. By 1999, while Savage was still in WCW, Elizabeth began dating Lex Luger, a relationship that would get serious enough for the two to share a home. Sadly, by 2003, it was in said home where Hewlett passed away from the acute toxicity due from mixing painkillers and vodka. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to this channel.